What's going on everybody, if you haven't already be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. Now for Laker fans, obviously this was a very disappointing season, and what could have gone wrong, did go wrong. But remember, it was an evaluating season anyways, to see what they got and what it would take for this team to be a legit championship level squad. And now what the Lakers have to look forward to now is free agency, because this might define the next 3 years of LeBron's contract with the team. Now LeBron was asked on what he sees as the Lakers free agency pitch, where he responds by saying, Listen, at the end of the day, this franchise wants to win and wants to win big. And one thing about this franchise is they cater to the players. That's it. Everything else comes secondary. They only want us to go out and perform at a high level and play the game at a high level so that we can be mentioned with some of the great teams that's in the league at that point in time. So like I've said, there's a lot of great free agents this summer. I'm not going to name any names because anytime I say something or our organization says something about a specific person, we get in trouble for it. But we also have an opportunity to get better, and that's something that's definitely great to know, that you have an opportunity to get better from a personal standpoint. Now listening to this, LeBron knows, and I know for a fact he knows, winning a championship in the next four years is going to be almost if not equally as tough as winning it in Cleveland, and in my opinion, it's going to be a lot tougher because this is a much older LeBron. But LeBron shows he has faith in the front office, and if anything positive is going to happen, it does start with LeBron, but everybody has to be in cahoots with each other. The Lakers just felt so divided this season. The veterans, the young guys, LeBron, Rich Paul, Rob Palenka, and Magic vs. Luke Walton, Luke Walton vs. LeBron, Luke Walton vs. the Vets. LeBron has never had a great head coach, but in Cleveland, at least with Ty Lue, they had an understanding with each other and the team. That wasn't the case this year, even though I still believe Luke Walton is a good head coach. It comes down to free agency this year. Who are the Lakers going to get? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys later.